He told me, you don't know, it's a miracle that we're talking, I have to tell you a story. He was here in Eretz Israel a few months ago, yes. He taught, told me about a certain righteous uncle that he had, a brother of his grandfather, and that person, and that righteous man, he said his name was Rabbi Yochanan. I told him, you remember the family name? He said, ah. he said yes, I do, it's Rabbi Yochanan Jinian. I told him, are you crazy? You know, you know who was your uncle? He said, yeah, I, I heard that he was a tzaddik, he was... A... I told him, I have a book in my house, and there is a complete chapter on your uncle, Rabbi Yochanan Jinian. He was one of the 36 hidden tzaddikim. He, had, he was seeing Eliyahu Navi frequently, all of the time, sees him every day, and, and miracles, something that you cannot imagine at all, something wild, huge tzaddik. He said, really, I have to see that book. I told him, come take the book. I'll buy another one. Oh, Hashem. He came to my house, he took that book, he opened, he said, Oh, Dod Yochanan, Dod Yochanan, every mm. no, wonderful, perfect thing. So, there were a, rab, a, a Mekubal rabbi came to his place a few weeks ago, to his house. And he sits with him, and he tells him, You know, your grandfather is here. And he tells him, Which grandfather? Plony, from the other side. He tells him, No, from the other side. He said, ah, and he tells you, uh, so he said, so okay, why is he here, what he wants? He said, he came to tell you that he arranged that you're going to receive the book on his brother, on Rabbi Yochanan Jinyan, and he made it happen. So he went pale, totally lost all of the blood in his face. He looked at him like that, you know, and that person come and start talking to him about, other topics, other issues, and tells him, don't worry, Hashem is happy with you, and your grandfather is not angry about this, and that, and it starts to reveal details, frightening. And he's sitting and hearing him, every word, okay, and tells him, okay, so tell me why he gave me the book, why he arranged it, that, that I'm going to give him the book, why? He said, because he wants to do, that you're going to do something for his Ilula. Wonderful. Of the, nothing. At Gimel Be'adar, he went and he done a seuda. Gimel Be'adar, a few days ago, he made a seuda for the, his uncle, Rabbi Yochanan Jinyan. And he brought something like 30 people. They were all sitting together and eating, doing brachot, learning Torah. Amazing. At night, after everyone left, he said, Please, Bakasha Dod, please, uncle, give me a sign that you enjoyed from what that I done for you. Just asked. In the next morning, he went to a Brit Milah of a, fa of a, of a friend's family. Suddenly, he see a wife of one of his friends coming toward to him, a religious woman with, uh, with a head cover, and she tells him, you don't know, it's amazing that I see you now. I had a dream on you yesterday night. He said to himself, oh, hey, why do I need that headache? <laughs> you sure you want to tell me? She said, yeah, I want to tell you. I saw an amazing light, and it was you over there, and someone else, and I only saw your two faces very bright, and I remember your face very clearly, and also that old person, very big, righteous person, smiling to me, very happy, and all of the rest was vague, I couldn't see. So he tells her, so he immediately thought about his uncle. He told, told her, do you know his name? Maybe you heard his name somewhere, maybe? She said, I don't remember. He told her, if I'm, I'm going to tell you, tell me if, if, it, if it rings a bell. If she said, okay. He told her, Rabbi Yochanan, Yochanan. She said, no, I'm sorry, don't remember. Told her, okay, let's, let's ask Rav Google. And he opens the Google search. And he writes, Rabbi Yochanan Jinyan. And it brought the picture of Rabbi Yochanan Jinyan. He showed her the phone. She starts to scream. Ah! Ah! That's the person that I saw in the dream! That's the person I saw! And she's screaming. Look how Tzadikim are with us. Look what's going on. Look, there is a hidden world <laughs> behind those curtains that we see with our eyes. You cannot see nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. 
But there is a hidden world, spiritual world. It's exactly like your soul inside. You cannot see it, but it's there. It's there. And that's your connection to God. That's your connection, your soul. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.